Les challenges quand on est chef sur un yacht, ils sont divers et variés. On a un environnement qui est complètement différent de celui d'une cuisine traditionnelle. On est sur un bateau qui se déplace. On a des capacités de stockage qui sont beaucoup moins importantes qu'un restaurant. Il faut sans arrêt se renouveler, sans arrêt chercher des nouvelles idées. On travaille tout seul. On doit faire tous les jours à manger aux mêmes personnes, ce qui veut dire qu'il faut des nouvelles recettes, des nouvelles idées, des nouvelles techniques. D'où l'intérêt de faire des cours comme celui qu'on vient de faire avec Alain Lucas. Le fait de, de pouvoir travailler avec d'autres personnes qui vont nous amener des nouvelles idées, beaucoup d'échanges, des nouvelles techniques, une connaissance vraiment très pointue qui nous est enseignée, qui nous est transmise et euh, qui nous va nous permettre dans, dans nos cuisines de bateaux de, de pouvoir créer à l'infini de, de nouvelles recettes et de nouvelles choses pour nos propriétaires. Some of the best things about the Ducasse education I've found have been the knowledge of the chefs passing on the information, their attention to detail with plating and cooking. Also, the technical skills that they have, you know, have been passed down from generations. Other guests on board, so you might have a party for 20 people, 30 people canapés. And the things that we've been taught over the course of the last three days have brought a lot of different ideas and different techniques that we can apply to those sort of functions. They were very professional from the beginning. Um, the chef had a, a lot of experience and um, showed us lots of new things and uh, I would definitely recommend them and uh, use them again in the future. One challenge of being a yacht chef is you, you work alone. Sometimes you need to work with other chefs and, and learn some new techniques and different products and uh, working with the Ducasse education definitely showed me a lot of new things this week. I think one of the biggest challenges is probably the expectations that the guests have because they eat in high-end restaurants and where they get fed with 25 chefs. I think it's, it was the techniques basically and how to transfer a, a main course to a small dish or, or the other way around. Because if you have the good basic technique then I guess you can just make a different products in different ways. I have a few things that I'm definitely using from these days. Of Uh, these recipes that we went through, definitely. And not only the recipes, but, but the way they were presented and, and, and prepared. Definitely, it, it will give me an advantage. Mm -hmm.